Hello, Leo. Thank you very much for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Daily Matero by Renata Lechner. For the support of Oracle Cards and Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Already shuffled. Let's go ahead. That card came out sideways. That's interesting. We'll find out what that means. No. No. Two face down cards. Woo! Okay. What are we going into? What are we going into? You got the death card kicking off the situation. I, it feels like there was a vacancy in your life, is what I'm getting. And you're, you've been looking to feel, fill this vacancy. Something ended, but it feels like this ending lingered. It, like, it just, there was a vacancy. And it just, it's like you were moving on from something that ended, and it just took a long time, it feels, from when something ended to you were actually able to move on. And it just didn't seem like it was moving on. Then when I have the safe travel here, it's like, it got to the point where it was just lingering, just this void. Something ended, there was nothing filling it, and you're just like, I have to fix this, I have to do something. I'm just fed up with it. I'm fed up with it. I'm not going to sit in this limbo any longer. So I feel like the safe travel coming in is like you're actively looking for something, or you were actively looking for something to fill that void. And I'm getting like, it doesn't seem like it was happening. You wanted something to fill that void, whatever that void was, something ended, the void is there, you're trying to actively fill it. But while you're trying to fill it, you do have this safe home protection on your side in the sense of, like, your life seems to be good. It feels good to me, whatever. I mean, it's a general read, I get that. But, like, that void is not easily being filled because not just anything will do. You want to actively fill it, you really do want it filled, but you're not desperate. You're not just letting anything fill that void. You're just actively trying to find something that fits. And I, didn't f I don't feel like you were able to find it when this started, at least. You are having a hard time finding that. Now, I'm noticing what comes next is the Four of Swords. Like, you're kind of like, I'm just running. I'm running into brick walls. I'm beating my head against the pavement for what? Um, I can't find the right fit for this situation. I'm not going to let just anything fill this situation. And I can't find what I'm looking for. I'm getting, I feel a lot of frustration here, a lot of frustration, just kind of like, again, fed up, like, I'm just sick of being in this limbo, that situation is done, it ended, I need something else, and I just can't find the right thing to fill it, and it's really frustrating. And I'm seeing the page of swords on your side, even though you're kind of like, I can't find anything, I'm not willing to just let anything fill it, you're still keeping an eye out, but I feel like you're pulling back efforts a little bit, because... While you do really actively want to do this and want something to fill that void, you're getting aggravated with looking and finding nothing. You're still, like, you still have your eye out, but you're not pursuing it as hard as you were there for a moment. So, this is going on, and you're keeping your eye out. You're looking for something to fill this void, and I'm getting somebody or something catches your eye. It feels like somebody, to be fair. For the majority of you, I feel like it's somebody. Now, this person that you're seeing is has got a lot going on. Ten of Wands. They got a lot, a lot going on. And whatever the situation is that you need this void filled with, to pull this person into this situation, to fill this void, I'm feeling you're going to take over a lot here. Take over what? Like, you're getting involved with this person, and you're trying to help them lighten their load. If you have to help them do that or find ways to help them lighten their load, you're actively getting involved and I feel like you're helping them lighten their load. Giving them advice, being a friend, being whatever you need to be to this person because you want them in your life. You want them to fill this void. So you're like, I'll help you lighten your load so you can be a part of my life because you need to fill this void in my life. <laughs> it's just kind of like you're helping them lighten their load so they can be a part of your life. I don't feel like that's bad. Does that sound bad? I don't think it does. You got a new beginning starting here with this person. Whoever this is, however this person is matching in, you're helping this person. You're very much helping. You're very generous with how you're helping this person, I have to say. And um, 
you're helping them lighten their load, and they I feel like they're 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 locking right in. They're very thankful for this, by the way. However, you're helping them do this, they needed some relief from that. That that was needed. That was really needed. And this is locking in. Like this person just thinks you're the greatest because you're helping them. You're making their life easier. Whatever that void is, you need them to fill. They're the, they're there. They're all for it. They're all for it. Now, I'm getting here. The um, the wheel. You you're finally finding that peace. This is that void being filled. This is what you want. This. This is seeming to fill that, and you're when it's happening. Even I feel like you're watching this person. You're helping them weed out whatever they need to. It's not till they're actually connecting with you after that that you're realizing this is what I wanted. Like things are going up. Like all of a sudden, it seemed like a situation that was very pessimistic turns on a dime, and you're just like, this is finally going the right way. We're finally flying right. We're finally finally going the way I want to go. And I'm getting here, like, there's memories of the past, like, whatever ended before, like, it's a little, like, this is coming in at its side. The Six of Cups on its side going into the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a good social time. Everything is good. You're very happy. You're enjoying this person. This person is enjoying you. But the, the Six of Cups is telling me, like, mismatched memories. I feel like you're, you're pulling from the past and how much you've liked this type of situation before. You're pulling in literally... Positive baggage? Positive baggage. You're you're enjoying things and you're enjoying memories and you're feeling like things are coming back around like they used to be. Not with this person, but with somebody else is what I'm getting. And you're like revitalizing something that you want to come back, but it's mismatched memories. It's like you're pulling in a feeling from somebody else that's no longer part of the situation and you're applying it to this person and enjoying that situation with this new person. I hope that makes sense. So it's almost like, for example, just to make it simple, if you used to ride bikes or be a biker with the, this last person and that's something you enjoyed with that last person, you're doing that same thing with this person and reliving that same lifestyle and you have those memories that you're applying to this situation, but they don't match with this person. I hope that makes sense. Now this person, whatever that seeks, especially if it's, for example, that biker biking situation, they're not a biker, as I'm getting. They don't, they're not, like, you You have to teach them to do this. You're, you're getting them involved. You're inspiring them to do that. And I feel like you're you're pulling them towards it. You're getting them involved with it. They, they do like it. They want to do it, but they definitely have to learn how to do this. The situation you're adding this person into, I don't feel like they really are familiar with it. So you're going to have to teach them a lot. I don't feel like that's a problem. But they're, I feel like they're making a point here, like, you're matching this new person to an old situation that you want to keep going, which is fine, but there's like a mismatch of memories. There's like, I feel like you might be expecting this person to catch on faster than they're capable of doing because I don't feel like they have the skill set to do that. I just feel like that's all you need to be aware of, that there's mismatch mem memories. Like this person is not going to have that background to follow along the situation. They're really going to have to learn. As long as you're aware of it and like you just remind yourself that this person really doesn't know what they're doing, you're going to have to even tell them the little pieces, things that are second nature to you, and just kind of like, how can you not know that? They don't know that because they haven't experienced it. They don't have any exposure to it. So as long as you're aware of that, I feel like you're going to be fine. Is that it? So we should have hit the message. Whatever the message is, it should have came out good. I feel like it's mostly about this person not not having the skill set that you're going forward to. It's not bad. It's just as long as you're aware of it, I feel like you're fine. I feel like that's the big part here. All right. I'm going to shut this down here and get this on the channel. Um, if you, of course, if you'd like a reading from me, go ahead and shoot me an email, james for astral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.